Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start the mass deminimalization and decluttering of my house so I can sell and go full time travelling. So welcome back. I got back from Antigua yesterday. I'm still quite tired and jet lagged and it's very cold here in the UK. Today I'm starting my minimalization and decluttering of my three bedroom house here in the UK. As I've explained on a previous video, I am selling everything I own, my house, my cars, all my belongings, and I'm going to go full time traveling. That is my retirement plan. And so I need to get on with it. Now let me show you some clips of my house. As you can see, I'm not a minimalist. I have a lot of stuff. And this is gonna take me some time. So my house is going on the market hopefully soon. I have some agents coming around next week. But I don't wanna leave it to the last minute. I mean, I don't know, my house might sell quickly, it might take a year, but what I don't want is to be rushing around at the last minute trying to clear everything out. So I'm going to start today. And I'm going to do weekly vlogs on how I'm getting on with it. So I've got some big items which I'll show you in the garage that I think I should start listing today. And then make some space in the garage area so then I can start putting there the things for sale. And as for the rest of it, what I'm going, I think the best plan is to do it room by room. So I'm in my third bedroom. So I have three bedrooms here. One I actually sleep in and two spare rooms. So I'm going to start on this one. This is the one I also use for all my laundry. And yeah, she's got a wardrobe, but I just opened it and everything kind of fell out. I don't actually know what's in there. But I'm going to start there, sort through what's in there and decide what to do with it. So let's have a look what I've got and uh, see how we're going to to do this. Um, and then each week I'll give you an update on how we've managed to sell things, what we've got rid of, what's next. But here we're going to start today. Okay let's get started. It's actually quite warm in here because I do have the radiator on because as I say this is my laundry room. Right. Where to start? Stuff just fell out. Ooh. <sighs> so, I seem to have a lot of clothes and a lot of stuff I've shoved down the bottom. And I've got some old clothes up here. And when I go travelling, I only want to take minimal stuff with me. I actually want to try and do it all with carry-on. So I can't have all this stuff. I've got a couple of options. I can put my things into storage. But you know, <clears throat> what is the point in paying storage? But this stuff I haven't even looked at for over a year. So there's no point paying storage for it. I need to get rid of it. So I'm going to go through the clothes first. That seems to be the easiest. Throw out what's no good. And then things that are good, I'm going to put for sale. And then things that are not, you know, not saleable, and, but not, you know, terrible for, for a charity. Let's just get going. Now, I know I'm going to be terrible at this. I really do. Let's just start at one end. I've got an ironing board in here. I don't iron. Ah, now this. I love this. My son brought me this, my snooch. And when it's cold, I can wear this and watch the TV. I'm not ready to get rid of that yet because I'm still in the UK. I might need that next year. Mind you, then I go to Antigua for the winter, so I never used it this year. Right, what we got here? Trousers. Oh, gosh. Oh, they're my size. Why are they in there? Okay, they are things I actually wear. So I better put those there I don't know do you know the other day I, well when, not the other day but before I went 
to Antigua and the winter came in the UK. I actually couldn't find those trousers. I usually wear like thick leggings in the winter and then thin ones in the summer. And I actually couldn't find them. Now we know why. Right. Coat hangers. Let's just throw them in a bar somewhere. Yeah, these ones as well. I do wear these. So I better not throw away what I actually wear. Yes, yeah, so they're still, still my size. Um, let's keep them. Um, not doing so well, are we? Three things and I've kept them. Jeans. Oh, oh these are like jean jeggings. I should put my reading glasses on. Oh, I do wear them. Why are they all in there? When did I put them in there? Oh gosh, not going so well. Right, these. What are these? Uh, I don't wear them. Okay, let's put those in the charity pile. Yay, we put one thing down. Oh, this is a nice dress. Boohoo. I don't even remember buying anything from Boohoo. Have I worn this? I think I might have worn this once. Oh, I love the sleeves on this. I'm not going to wear that. Let's put that in the sale pile. I'm not. Don't think I'm going to wear that again. Oh, well, I do like it, but let's put it in the sale pile for now. So my plan with selling things is the clothes, anyway. I think I'll put them on Vinted to start with. I've had some success with Vinted. I do find though if it doesn't sell in the first few days it's probably not going to sell but we'll start there and then if that doesn't work we can look at charity shops or well, I don't think Facebook is very good for clothes um, for Facebook I tend to put my furniture and things on Facebook marketplace um, so the, this morning I sold a ramp that I used to have used for my dogs to get into the boot of the car. I sold that on Facebook Marketplace this morning. Because there's not things you can post, is it? So it's easier. And then there's always eBay. I don't mind eBay, but it's just it's the, it's the fees that get me. You've got you can't sell things if you put it on for ninety nine p now. You know to bid on. You've still got to make sure the postage covers all the fees you're going to get on the postage and on the sale. So it gets quite tricky to work out and it's not easy. It's not easy. Well, this isn't going to fit me anymore. Okay, so we'll put this in the charity pile. And then what I was thinking is what I can't sell on vintage and places, when I've got like a car full, I'll just do car boots and see what I can get rid of but I think they're big I have like a thousand DVDs and CDs and I know people don't really use them anymore I don't wear this anymore uh, put this in the charity thing and must remember that I do need clothes while I'm still here <laughs> um yes yeah, so I was thinking I can car boot stuff as well because I know like people don't really have DVDs and CDs anymore not now you have all your streaming services, but it's worth a go, isn't it? I did try selling to someone like Magpie and and that, but they say they take them all, but they don't. They take they took. I, I tried to scan like a hundred or so through, and they took about seven. I thought, oh, I can't be bothered with it. You know, either take them all or don't. So, right, we'll just carry on going through here seeing what we have. Okay. Now you see, this is where I get stuck. See, this is beautiful. But it might be beautiful. Oh, it is lovely. And if it's so beautiful, why have I never worn it? So if I've never worn it, what about the chat? Oh, it's lovely actually, isn't it? Oh, 
Why have I never worn it? Okay, we'll put that in the sale pile. At least that one vintage. Oh, it's so soft. I'm terrible. I buy stuff and I don't wear it. Of course, then you've got to spend time taking photos of them all. Oh. Again, I don't wear it. Sell it. Oh, now this. This I can't sell. This was my grandmother's coat. She wore it all the time. It's, it's fake fur, obviously. But, I know I shouldn't be sentimental, but I'm, I am sentimental. And I just can't. I can't. This, is have, this will have to go in storage. I have to go somewhere safe. Yeah. No. No, not for a year away. No, no, no. <coughs> God, I've got boots up here. What's this for? Oh, my God. Um, oh, faith boots. Why don't I wear these? These are nice. These are nice boots. In good condition. Here was a... As the heels are not worn at all, I know I've hardly worn them. What a nice pair of boots. Hmm, maybe we'll try those on Vinted. See, I'm trying to be good, I'm trying to be good. Got to be ruthless. Oh, oh my gosh. This is the thing. I Look at these. Oh gosh, I, I did used to wear these a lot. I forgot about these. I have lots of boots. I used to, I, well... I used to have like a fetish about boots. You know, some people have shoes. Mine's boots. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I must, I've worn them a fair bit then because there's slight wear in the heel. Still got these steel caps. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay. I don't want to get rid of my stuff. But I do want to go travelling, so I have to. We'll sell them. Oh wow, there's even more boots up here. Hardly worn. Look at these, these are very glittery. Aren't these average? Oh look, gold and blue. Beautiful boots. Oh I love them. They, oh they had the balloon thing. I have actually and the ruffles. Oh Guess I better sell them. Put them in the sale pile. Oh gosh, those. I oh, gosh, there's trousers all up here. What are these? These are waterproof ones. I think uh, I bought these when I went to Uganda. Now they're too big for me. I was big when I went to Uganda. Bigger. Okay, let's see if anyone wants to buy them. I've got jeans. Well, they're not going to fit me, I don't think. Um. Oh, gosh. Right, I'll carry on with this and I'll get back to you later. It's crazy, isn't it, how much stuff we collect over the years. I don't know if you're like me. But I'm very much, I just hate throwing things away. I hate wasting things. Uh, so I hold on to things that I shouldn't do. I'm also very sentimental and I, I just don't like getting rid of things that people have brought for me. Or This is really hard. Really hard. Gosh. Oh my gosh. How did I ever get in these? Okay, I've been at this for about an hour now and I have to say it's quite overwhelming. I don't know how I'm going to get the whole house done. But I think, so I took everything out. I have a pile here for charity, a pile here to just throw away, they're just no good. And I have a huge pile here of things to sell. 
I also still in the wardrobe have three boxes that say size 14 on them and I actually have to say I have no idea what's in here. I, oh my gosh. But I think the thing is you can do two, oh that's quite a nice top. Um, I'm too distracted. Uh, oh well I've just seen a top I used to love in here. I used to wear this all the time. Oh, this, and this is a beautiful top. It's so lightweight. See, this is the problem. I don't want to really throw anything away. This is how I'm in this mess to start with. So I think... I think it's too easy to try and do too much at once. I think, I, you know... I know it looks like I've just put everything back in the wardrobe, but to be honest, there's hardly anything here. The, the floor is full. I can't even find my slippers. So I think what I need to do now is get a bin bag for this stuff, a bag to put the charity stuff in, and then start sorting through and taking pictures of the stuff for sale and getting that online. And then get that done before we move on to the next stage. Otherwise, it's just going to be overwhelming. Okay, pen. Let's go and do that. Oh, well. What else I found when I was in there? My whoop, fridge prime certificate. Look, I have all sorts of rubbish. There's a photo there. It's a terrible photo. Oh, yes. I don't know why that was in the bottom of the wardrobe. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so bagged up a couple of bags that go in for rubbish got some bags down here ready for charity so I'll either drop them in one of the charity banks or I often get those envelopes for the door um, and then I can fill those now what I'm going to do is start taking pictures and loading for sale the clothes I'm going to put on Vinted so I'm going to photo them, load them up and then I'm going to store them on that side of the wardrobe so we know which ones are going for sale. So just find the Vinted app and we'll get going with that. Now there's a whole pile so I could be here all day doing this. One job at a time. Oh, I've been at about an hour and a half now. I've listed about 12 things on Vinted. It takes forever. So I've got a massive pile still on the floor to load. I think I'm going to have to carry on with that tomorrow. Whew. Right, I need to have a break from this. We'll come back to this tomorrow. Good morning. So, an update. It's taken me all morning to load the stuff on Vinted. I've loaded 42 items this morning. And within five minutes of loading my lovely chain boots, they sold. That's the only thing I've sold, but that's the start. And I also loaded my paramotor and my parachute wing on Facebook Marketplace and on some of the groups there, and I've had one interest. The guy that was supposed to pick up the ramp for the dogs never came. That is very infuriating. Um, but and I boxed up the trousers and the clothes that you know weren't new and uh, ready to car boot and um, that's where we are so next week we'll have an update on what we sold so far and on what we're going to do next but I am absolutely shattered it's exhausting doing this decluttering and I just keep thinking it's going to be worth it when I can full time travel so until next time thank you for watching oh and if you have any tips where to sell stuff or how to do this quicker, please let me know. Thank you.